Nearly all forms of energy production use large amounts of water. Coal, which generates nearly 50% of the electricity in the U.S., needs water for mining and transport and to cool and lubricate equipment. Water is also used to cool fuel rods at nuclear plants and to generate steam to power turbines. The biofuel industry needs water for irrigation, fermentation, and the production of ethanol and biodiesel fuels. Alexander Ox, director of climate and energy at the World Watch Institute, says that adds up to a lot of water. Per megawatt hour, coal uses 500 to 1,000 gallons per water for the production of just one megawatt hour uh, of electricity. Uh, if we look at all the plants uh, combined in the United States, all the thermoelectric plants in the United States, uh, in 2008 alone, they withdrew about 60 billion to 170 billion gallons of water per year. Without water, most types of energy could not be produced. Even renewable energy, like geothermal and solar, use water to cool equipment and to clean the collector panels. Those requirements have led California, Massachusetts, and several Midwestern states to halt the operation of some power plants. Places like the Inner Midwest, where water is a very scarce resource already today, um, a number of power plants have actually been halted. This is actually true for across the United States. David Brown directs programs for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration across the southern United States. NOAA collects data on climate patterns. Brown says the drought in the American Southwest, the worst in a century, is prompting changes in the energy industry. Energy companies are also being forced to be more efficient in the way they use water, whether it's for electricity production in a coal factory or whether it's in the mining of natural resources through fracking processes. These companies are also realizing that water resources are strained and will continue to be strained as the climate continues to warm. The NOAA expert says water systems in the American Southwest will be under even greater stress over the next several decades. The agriculture industry is the prime user of water in the United States, closely followed by energy production. Experts say competition for water resources from a growing population and from the agriculture and energy industries will require difficult decisions by local and national governments. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.